In a world driven by rapid technological advancements, the global financial landscape is evolving. One notable development that has captured the attention of economists, policymakers, and individuals alike is the concept of central bank digital currency, or CBDC. In this video, we will explore the pros and cons of CBDC and delve into its potential effects on the future of humanity. First, let's dive into the advantages of CBDC. One of the primary benefits lies in its potential to enhance financial inclusion. With CBDC, individuals who may have previously been excluded from traditional banking systems can now gain access to secure, digital financial services. This newfound inclusivity has the potential to empower individuals, particularly those in underserved communities, to participate fully in the global economy. Another advantage of CBDC is the potential for increased efficiency and transparency in financial transactions. As CBDC operates on blockchain or distributed ledger technology, every transaction can be recorded, creating an immutable and transparent record of financial activities. This level of transparency can help combat corruption, money laundering, and other illicit activities. Moreover, CBDC could revolutionize the way governments and central banks implement monetary policies. By having direct control over the digital currency, central banks can better manage inflation, stabilize economies, and respond more effectively to financial crises. This increased control and flexibility can potentially mitigate the impact of economic downturns and promote financial stability. However, it's important to consider the potential drawbacks and challenges associated with CBDC. One concern is privacy and data security. As CBDC transactions are recorded on a digital ledger, there are valid concerns about the collection and potential misuse of personal financial data. Striking a balance between privacy and transparency will be crucial in the design and implementation of CBDC systems. Additionally, the transition to CBDC may present challenges for certain industries. For instance, commercial banks might face the risk of disintermediation as individuals could potentially conduct transactions directly with the central bank. This could impact the traditional banking model and require banks to adapt their business models to remain relevant. Furthermore, the adoption of CBDC could have socioeconomic implications. As cash gradually becomes obsolete, certain communities or individuals who rely heavily on cash transactions may face difficulties adjusting to a cashless society. Ensuring a smooth transition and providing support for those affected will be essential in avoiding potential inequalities. In addition to the broader implications of central bank digital currency, let's explore an intriguing aspect that could potentially arise the requirement of payment admissions into certain areas of a city, stores, or to acquire goods. This concept, while not directly tied to CBDC, could be facilitated by the digital currency infrastructure. In this segment, we'll discuss the pros and cons of such a system and its potential effects on society. Imagine a future where entry into specific areas of a city or access to certain stores or goods is restricted and requires a digital payment. On the surface, this might seem like a convenient way to control crowds, manage resources, and enhance security. One advantage of this system is the potential to optimize resource allocation. By limiting entry to areas with high demand, cities can effectively manage traffic flow, reduce overcrowding, and ensure the availability of essential services. This could lead to improved efficiency and a better quality of life for residents. Furthermore, the implementation of payment admissions might lead to a two-tiered society where access to basic services or desirable goods becomes contingent on one's ability to pay. This could exacerbate existing social and economic inequalities, creating a system that benefits the privileged few while leaving others at a disadvantage. In conclusion, the concept of payment admissions for certain areas, stores, or goods poses both benefits and challenges. While it has the potential to optimize resource allocation and enhance security, it also raises concerns about personal freedoms, privacy, and societal divisions. As we navigate the possibilities of a digitally interconnected future, it's important to critically evaluate the consequences and trade-offs of such systems. Striving for inclusivity, fairness, and respect for individual rights will be vital to ensure that our cities and societies remain open, equitable, and free. Thank you for watching. We hope this exploration has provided you with valuable insights. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content.
Stay tuned for our next video as we continue to explore the fascinating possibilities that lie ahead. Until then, may we navigate the future with wisdom, compassion, and a commitment to building a world that benefits everyone.